everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about the herb marjoram and we're going to do a little comparison of the uses for fresh versus dried marjoram. First of all, you need to know the conversion rate. The general rule of thumb for herbs would be three parts of fresh herb is equal to one part of dried herb. So if a recipe calls for one tablespoon of fresh marjoram leaves and you only have dried, you would use one teaspoon of dried. If it, it calls for uh, two tablespoons of fresh, you would use two teaspoons of dried and vice versa. You would use your conversion rate. Three parts of fresh is equal to one part of dry, so remember that. Now, when to add marjoram. If you have fresh marjoram and you have a food that you want to add that into and it's a cooked food, you want to add it toward the end of cooking time. Fresh marjoram is more mild and than the dried version. The flavors are not as concentrated and so if you put them in a soup or a stew early on when it's fresh, the flavor is going to dwindle by the time your soup is done and you won't have the flavor that you're looking for. So when using fresh marjoram in a cooked food, add it toward the end of cooking time. If you have dried marjoram, and you want to add it to a cooked food like a soup or a stew that's going to cook a good while, you want to add the dried marjoram early on in the cooking process. It's dried, it's dehydrated, the flavors are concentrated. It needs to be in that hot liquid for a while so it can become refreshed and rehydrated and it will slowly release its flavors. So dried marjoram you want to add early on in the cooking process. Now what about raw versus cooked foods? If you have a raw foods that you're preparing like a salad and it calls for marjoram, you could use either one, but your best bet is to use fresh marjoram with raw foods. Again, the flavor is more mild, not as concentrated. It'll add a nice flavor to your raw dish and you just blend it right on in. If you want to use dried marjoram in a raw food, it's going to have a powerful punch in its flavor and you might want to let it sit for a while before you serve it. So, generally speaking, raw foods would call for raw marjoram. Cooked foods will do better with dried marjoram, especially if you're going to cook them for any length of time. Now, what if you have a stir fry or something like that that you're not going to be cooking very long? You could use fresh marjoram in that. As long as it's not going to be cooked very long, it won't be losing its flavor. So, I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.